the new channel. Hashtag TNC Now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. Born out of passion, we are a community that helps you be the new you. I'm Dr. Michelle Moross, live streaming from the United States and the beautiful mountains of Colorado. You are watching Mental Shift. Hello to the United States and to the Philippines. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. My name is Dr. Michelle Moras, and you are watching Mental Shift. And you have a treat today because I have a friend who I met at a conference back, oh, I think it was been a year ago at least, out in Kansas City. And he is part owner of electrical and lighting company called Luminous Technologies. He's the founder of an investment group called TAMAC. I know I said that wrong, but it's stands for the American Mastermind Investment Club. And he's the host of a blog column series called The First Cup KC, a motivational coach and speaker, co-author of a newly released compilation book curated by the BTBY's very own Brenda Ringwood and Terrence Leffridge. Now, BTBY stands for Becoming the Better You. And the world is ready. They were on Times Square with that book because I was there with it. And then he's also currently in the process of writing one of the most inspirational autobiography stories you will ever hear. And you're going to get a piece of it today. And it's entitled The Man Behind the Mug. He's also in the progress of releasing another book on top of that entitled A Cup a Day. So his biggest motivation is spreading reasons to be positive. And because of this reason, he's known as Mr. Positive, but I know him best as Coffee Cup Chuck. Please welcome Chuck Doyle. What's good, people? What's good? Man, <laughs> you make me feel like a movie star. So <laughs> you are. Well, In my world, you are. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You are uh, quite the celebrity yourself. <laughs> we do what we do, right? We inspire yeah. because we came out of dark places. And that is what I want to talk to you about. Because mental shift, we talk about what we did before and how we got a light bulb turn on in our life, be it how harsh it came on to become a better version of ourselves. And your story is remarkable. And I wanted to share it because one, you've come from dark to a bright light. And so many people get lost in the gray thinking they're in the dark. And I want them to meet a man like you who is smiling, positive, and giving back to the world when the world, when he was younger, would have told him there is no way you would ever be this man. So Please share us, what was your mental shift? And you probably had many, many, but what was the big mental shift? Well, well, it's the, it's the biggest one is the environment. environment. You know, you live these lives and if you're, if you're coming from an environment that I came from, it's, it's like putting a flea in a jar. You're only gonna jump as far and as high as the rest of the people around you are jumping. 
and you get caught up in that loop. And next thing you know, you you shut yourself down. I ran with gangs, I sold drugs, gang banged, uh, broken broken businesses and and private residents and. I mean, I did a lot of bad stuff because it was a lot of bad things going on around me. The, the belief system was low and, you know, it was a lot of negative stuff. Uh, most of my bad impacts in life came from the negativity that was fed into me. So, Well, and a lot of us are fed negativity and we're basically brainwashed that this is how it is and this is how it can only be. Because what do you think? You're where well, you think you're better than us. No, that that whole attitude. Now, how did you? Well, you were in it, and you told yeah. me earlier you went to prison, didn't you? Yeah. So, like I said, that environment. Uh, I I joined the Crips because I was living in a, a environment in Omaha, Nebraska, called the Hilltop Home Association. A lot of Crips were in that area. A lot of my friends and family were Crips, so I became a Crip, and it's a notorious gang uh, we do a lot of you know we were involved with a lot of drug activities and a lot of other crimes and being so young i think i started like at 10 years old uh, just running around a neighborhood where there was no parental control you know or your parents didn't see you till the street lights came on so between that time i was out doing all kind of stuff and I, I committed some crimes and it ended me in prison. I mean, literally, I caught these charges at 14 years old. And by the time I turned 15, I was being carted off to prison, like adult prison. Uh, that that trip landed me in cell my first year there, uh, not having access to uh, open popular. Well, not having access to even come out of my room just an hour a day is all I had. Uh, access to for a couple months until I turned 16 years old. And Michelle, when we turned 16, right out in population, uh, but it didn't stop. I, mean, I got out, got back, went back, got out, went back, and I just created this revolving door for myself that kept making things worse for me. But it still had to do with my belief system what I believed in, you know, I grew up under the understanding that everything was the white man's fault. So I never took accountability of myself because it was always somebody else's fault. Um, but, but then you start getting into, you start getting into growing up and you start realizing that it ain't just about you. It's about the people who are around you. Uh, you got family members and friends that love you and they don't want to see you doing bad and they don't want to see you making these big failures in your life. But sometimes, Michelle, it takes going through that stuff to create the diamond, you know, and because I went through so many things in my life, because I went to prison at such a young age and because I was able to be um, introduced to that to those environments instead of me being weak instead of me just giving in i started fighting back and i started getting a better understanding that i had to do something better for myself not just for myself but for the people who were influenced by me as well and that started the shift um one particular incident just before i left prison it was a guy who gave me a book called Think and Grow Rich. This guy had some people on his team, his family. They were some supportive family members, and the guy didn't have a lot of time in prison. Uh, I wish I would have held on to the guy's name, but uh, he went through an unfortunate incident where most of that family that was supporting him, sending them these educational books, sending them these uh, what, what I, sending them these life-changing solutions, he lost them all in an accident while they were coming to visit him. I mean, yeah, he, they, they were all in an RV. They were traveling across. They were traveling across the States to come visit him because we were in federal prison at this time. And during the federal stint, you get, you get your visits on the weekends and you only get one weekend a month. So, your family would normally travel in packs to come visit you. They would bunk out in hotels or they would get campgrounds and they would camp out for the weekend while they come visit you Friday night, 
Saturday most of the day and Sunday from morning to noon. And then after that, your, your visits are gone for the month. This guy had his family coming to visit him. And during the process of visiting, uh, they lost con. Um, I guess the semi came across the interstate and reared him off the road and it just killed everybody in the vehicle in the RV. This dude lost it. I mean, he lost his whole support system. So to me, having this guy's book, seeing what's going on, start the light started coming on. Dude, this could have been you. You could have lost your whole family because of something that you did because they're trying to support you. So that was the first light bulb. But then you get out and you you find your way. So I did get out. I actually ended up doing three state prison sentences and a federal prison sentence. And at the end of the federal prison system, Michelle, I was like, this is it. Mm, I can't do this no more. You shifting me all over the, the country from one prison to another one, waking me up in the middle of the night, rolling my bunk up and, and transferring me. I can't get letters. I can't get visits because they don't move you. They don't let you know when they move you. They move you just out of the blue. So I'm like, man, this is too much to take. So when I got out, I just said, man, I got to do something different. So I started searching. First thing I did when I got out was I started school. I got myself in school. I uh, went to Everest University online and I started working. I worked the electrical field. I, I started working for electrical jobs. I started out at a temp service, actually working the electrical jobs. But yeah, I eventually got to a point where I was sustainable. Uh, I was able to take the Think and Grow Rich book that the guy who lost his family gave me and that book triggered me to read books that benefited me books that changed my view books that took me from the fixed mindset over to the growth mindset and that's when the life started changing for me life started it just started changing big time you know uh i did work the job as long as i could and i started saying that hey i can do this but I'm black. I'm a felon. Credit ain't good. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> but like I said, things in my life, those lights kept going off. So one day, and this is a story I love to tell because words are powerful. And it let me know that I was on a on a road to to doing something special that could give back, that could help transform me into an even better person. And that was how powerful words really are. So one day I'm out working for the last company I used to work for. And as I'm working, working on a bridge in one of the bucket trucks that we used to work out of, and I'm repairing a light that's over this bridge. But in order to do it, this bridge is a two lane bridge which only allowed people coming and going and only one sidewalk to travel up and down. I had to occupy that sidewalk with part of my truck to, to, to get out of the street. So I had the truck combed off and I had the, the actual truck up on the sidewalk blocking the path. And a gentleman comes walking over the bridge, tall Caucasian male, like he's in his mid forties, maybe his uh, early fifties. And he gets about halfway over the bridge, looks out over the water. It's cold out. And I, I'll never forget that it was cold out because I was wearing a sock monkey hat. And this sock monkey hat I used to wear just because, like I said, I was trying to create this. I was trying to create this happy aura around me by making people laugh, by making people smile, because I've always been that person that likes to bring some sort of happiness and, and make people laugh. I'm, I'm goofy. You know, my wife, I get on my wife's nerves because of it. But this guy is standing there like waiting. To me, I think he's waiting to cross. But like I said, it was cold out. And even though it was cold out, the sun was shining. So it was it was still beautiful. Out. It was still breathtaking to be able to be alive that day. And I thought to myself, why not expose this onto this man while he's standing here waiting for me? So I just simply told the guy, hey, it's a beautiful day to be alive. And, you know, he looked up at me and with this crazy look in his face. And I mean, it was like, who are you? 
But then he turned around and walked back the way he came. Crazy thing about this, and this is where the story gets a little better, is about a year later, it's the same same season. It's cold out. I happen to have that same sock monkey hat on. I'm in a quick trip just up the street from my house, and I walk into the quick trip to to, to make a, a place a order, buy some items, and this guy staring at me, looking at me from around the other side of the counter. He, he looks familiar, but I mean, I don't know this. I don't. I can't put the pin the tail on the donkey, but I notice he's looking at me, and he's looking at me like not just looking at me. So eventually this dude started approaching me. And as he approached me, the first thing come to my mind is I know this guy and it's probably from work somewhere. It's probably related to one of the property managers that I used to work for or work with. And the guy walks up to me and as he's coming towards me, I know that I know him now because people just don't approach you like that. And he approached me and he he, he looked at me and said, hey, man, do you work in a bucket truck? And I and I was like, yeah, I know this dude from work. It had to be from work. And but it wasn't from work. It was from work, but it wasn't. It was the dude who was on the bridge that day. He leaned in and he basically said, dude, man, can I hug you? Can I give you a hug? And I said, bring it in, man. Yeah, bring it in. But it wasn't a hug. And it was more like an embrace. It was it was this was, was a thank you. Yeah, it was a thank you. And he thanked me for saving his life. You know, so he was he was going to jump that day. Yeah, words are powerful and you never know what other people are going through. Ever. You know? Now, we'll get back into your story, but we have to go to break. And when we come back from break, those of you who are out there watching right now, please share, like and Oh, well, you know, make sure that you get somebody that you know needs to hear this story from Chuck. Get them on this so that they can watch him directly, okay? So we'll be right back after this break. Ang 40D, tumutulong patibay ng vital organs. Iwa sakit sa puso at iba pang sakit. Mabilis lumala, kaya dapat agapan. Dapat New Solmix Advanced Syrup. May two times zinc para ang ubo, imbis na lumala, tulungang mabilis mawala. New Solmix Advanced Syrup. Unilab yan. Welcome to Mental Shift. My name is Dr. Michelle Maras. The new channel is an alternative online new media platform of shows for people on the go. Please watch all of our shows as seen here on the screen and imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content, but we'll make it easier for you. 
TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging authentic and original content. Our channel is a responsible global 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. You can watch Mental Shift every Tuesday night if you're in the United States at 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time or if you're in Asia, Wednesday mornings at 10.30. And you can watch all of it live, but you can also do the replays via Facebook or YouTube. Follow us on Instagram or listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcast. All you have to do is search hashtag TNC now. Now, if you'd like to be a sponsor, just email now at thenewchannel.com or send a direct message straight to the new channel. So enjoy all of these life changing shows because we made them just for you. Just like we've done with Mental Shift, welcome back. My name is Dr. Michelle Moras, and my guest today is Coffee Cup Chuck. And he told us some stories at the first half, but we uh, we only have 14 minutes for me to get through so much of what he does. So let's bring Coffee Cup Chuck back on because I want to be able to get through more of his story of how he serves others now. And I have to ask you one real quick question. Did you say you were first arrested in Omaha? Yeah, Omaha, Nebraska. That's where my entire life tra uh, pivoted. We need to talk the next time we we come really? together. My whole life pivoted in Omaha, Nebraska. And you would think Omaha is such a, it's a nice place and it's a quiet place. There's a lot of stuff that goes down in that little, ten, in that little place. And um, yeah, we need to talk about that. But I wanted to get more into, yes, you've gone through prison. You've done some things. You've realized that words have power. You're part of a book called Becoming the Better You, where you share your story. So those of you out there listening and you're sharing, let people know that the book, Becoming the Better You, Coffee Cup Chuck's book right there, it is out, it's on Amazon, and you can write him directly and buy him directly from him. We have his, his website available that we'll put on the chat and we'll put underneath him, but it's coffeecupchuck.com. Yep, coffeecupchuck.com. And then this uh, Lutec Lighting Services, I want you to tell really briefly how that came to be because you went from prison to working in electronics to starting the co founding that. Yes. Luminous. So, yeah, real quickly, I basically worked at a job when I got out of jail as an electrical technician. I worked at it for many years. And I just developed a, a want to create my own business in the process of stepping out of prison. A lot of people don't give you the opportunities to work because of that felony uh, jacket you, you, you put on. So it, uh, I just always had in my mind to start my own creation. So I started Luminous Technologies. Um, and when I started it, everything changed. You know, once you see that you're able and you're capable of doing something that someone in your position just it, it's just not heard of it pushes you to do even more and greater things which pushed me to uh, out of the book think and grow rich there's a section in the book uh, describing the mastermind association where napoleon hill talks about uh, him creating a false committee and i kind of created a real committee in the same aspect and 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 directed a whole plan of investment of putting investments behind it which led me to tamic the american master buying investment club uh, which we make investments smart investments and it's 14 of us doing that and that led me to you know trying to work on myself even more and even better so i started writing messages to myself and those messages eventually i took those same messages god basically told me to push them out to people who might need to hear them so I created a whole entity around this, th these messages, and I, I named the person who pushes those messages out, Coffee Cup Chuck, uh, with the meaning that we all wake up first thing in the morning, not really feeling, you know, we don't feel right. We don't just, you know, when you feel like you don't want to push on throughout the day, normally that beverage of choice is what gets you going. And Coffee Cup Chuck delivers that beverage of choice in the mornings with messages that help inspire, motivate, and educate us on things that we forget. So with that being said, that kind of pushed me into wanting to speak 
It pushed me into wanting to author my own books uh, and spread the, the message of being positive because it's very important to understand that when you think positive about things, there's only one outcome, a positive outcome. But when you think negative about things, you're always going to get what you're thinking. You know, thinking when you look around the room you're in, Michelle, everything you see all started with a thought first. You know, so thoughts are powerful and the things you think about, you become. If you think about changing for the better, you become changed for the better. If you think about starting your business, you change you change into a business owner. When you think about creating a life for yourself to where you're speaking and motivating people, guess what happens? It happens, but you got to want it. You got to be able to shift yourself from that, that failure mode to that successful mode. And you can't do that if you don't believe you can do it. And I started believing in myself and I started adding certain aspects to my life to help that happen. And, and you see where I'm at. I'm up there with you, Michelle. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the whole thing. You draw what you think of. Whatever you focus on, you're going to bring it to you. And that's what we learn as our, in our youth when we were doing things that we shouldn't be doing or experiencing parts of our life we didn't like. It's we focused on it. So we got more of it. And when you started thinking, uh, got that book, Think and Go Rich, and realized there was another way, and you started thinking there must be another way, God brought you another way. The challenge with that, that many, many people have is that they see it and think I'm not good enough. And they don't step into that light. They do not step into that door that opens for them. And they stay where they are because they listen to those voices around them that say, you aren't worthy of that. You're just like us. You can't do this. Your gift is you said, I'm done with this. I'm moving. And I think one of the biggest signs for you is that man hugging you, embracing you, saying thank you. Because then you realized that the smallest words of love given to perfect strangers can alter lives. And so that is really what also brought me into this world. I realized that words, it wasn't the beatings, that wasn't the pain I got when I was a child that stayed and haunted me. They hurt. It was the words that came with the beatings that haunted me. And so words are powerful. And I think I've said it before. You might've heard me say it in the beginning. God says, let there be light, right? And then the word, the word was with light and God. Okay. So the word is more powerful than any physical thing that was created. Mm -hmm. It was first. So whatever you say becomes truth because it is very powerful. It says it's the first line in the Bible. I mean, the first paragraph says your words will change your life. It's very subtle, but your words are powerful. And I'm so glad that you found your way and that that man who lost everything gave you a gift before he lost everything. And honestly, what probably, I, I hope... I hope he made it through that pain and that he's out there and he's going to find you again and do, oh, I remember giving you that book. That would be like the perfect story. And if that ever happens, you need to let me know so you can come back on the show and share the other half of what happened with him. Okay. Because oh, yeah. that people don't understand. And you know, we're all in our different worlds that you were in prison and made it out the gift you have by knowing what hell looks like on earth. You know what it looks like and you know how the people act. Basically, you know how the crab bucket really is. It's not just fleas jumping in there. Those are crabs ripping up legs to keep you where you are because yeah. you can't go out. And here you are, Coffee Cup Chuck. You've got merch with that really cool logo that's behind your head. Can you lean? I love that logo. Uh, he's got merch on coffeecupchuck.com that you can get. He's got this awesome sweatshirt. Do you have that sweatshirt on? What yeah, are you doing what does for it yourself? Say? It says, what are you doing for yourself? And it's uh, kind of like one of the uh, lessons that I teach. Actually, I made a song about it. Um, and it's really been a popular thing. So uh, I, I, I have a lot of other stuff, too. 
Actually, I think you guys got a, a snippet. Can we play a sip? We can we play a snippet of his song, and then we'll come back and we'll finish up with Coffee Cup Chuck and how they can reach him and all that. What can you do? What are you doing for yourself? Yep, this is on the TikTok, so they can follow you on TikTok, right? Yeah. What's good, people? It's your boy, Coffee Cup Chuck, back with another powerful, powerful message. Yeah, push this out. 168 hours in a week, 56 hours spent on sleep, 40 more of a spend at the gig. Gotta work if you wanna live now. Subtract the 56 and the 40 from 168, and that'll leave you 72 hours to plan and create. But you see, we're so distracted that it all goes to waste. That procrastinating and fear will really slow your pace. You think tomorrow's promise just because you see the day. You think tomorrow's promise so the time just takes away. And then there's those excuses that we make to justify while we so stationary. But see, it's just a lie, just to cover up, to butter up your reason why. Something we tell ourselves so we don't even have to try. What are you really doing? Gotta get your head up out of the sand. Who are you really fooling? You don't even think you can. No matter what's going on in that head of yours, just know that you're special. You're part of God's plan. But I want to know, what are you doing for yourself? Are you just getting old? Is your talents going to waste? Don't, don't, don't get them all up now. What are you doing for yourself? You're still get running in place. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere because you're stuck at... What'd you say? I said, let's don't give it all to them. Let's let's hold them. Let's hold them to their will to get over there to TikTok and check the whole thing out because it's a message behind it. And it's something that they can ask themselves each and every day. And just by asking that question, it definitely sets them off in the right mood to, to process the beginning of their day. So what are you doing for yourself? It's a it's a cup of coffee cup check. <laughs> in music form. <laughs> yes. But yes. no, and, and that's, it's important. You know for a fact that your life changed because someone detoured enough to care. Yeah. And but not just that. In a world that didn't. Yeah, but not just that. It's, it's not just, Michelle, it's not just the change, it's the continuous change because we all change at some point. But how do you, how are you staying focused? What environment are you putting yourself in to where you can continuously grow and become better? And I know the time is getting short, but I just want to give a shout out to the BTBY community because that community is one of the communities that's definitely helping continuous change in not just my life, but a lot of other people's lives. I've been able to really uh, grow myself to a, a magnitude that I wouldn't have been able to probably grow myself to without it. And then platforms such as yours. Uh, oh, man. I mean, the, the, the environment that you put yourself in is one of the most important things that you can do for yourself. So get yourself around the right people. Well, I'm glad you said that because my next question was going to say, can you share a one life lesson core? And that was it surround yeah. yourself with people that help you grow because like the becoming the better you if you want to learn more about that group i mean i tend to travel with you all too i tend to go where you are go to the website comechangeyourlife.com and then you can learn more about becoming the uh, becoming the better you or go on facebook and do the same thing because that is a good group of people. They're good. That's a family. That's not a group of people. That's a family. And yes, we are. they travel with uh, Terrence and Brenda. And well, you're always there. And I tend to be there. And then my podcast partner from uh, Denim and Pearls is always there. Brian's always there. So we are a family and we go around and there's so much enlightenment. And there's so many, so many of us in that room who've gone through some seriously dark times in our lives who have come out of it or we're still working on it and being around each other. It's like that stair, that stairway of, of growth. We are always changing together. We're never alone. And if you notice when you are looking back at your past, how alone you felt nowadays, you're not so alone anymore. It's a good way to be. So those of you who are out there watching and sharing, please go out there and find coffee cup, Chuck, Dot com and then find him on 
TikTok, Coffee Cup Chuck. I mean, he's easy to find, okay? Then look for look for the man with the hat and the glasses. And he's got some really cool merch. And he's just an incredible human. And to know what he's gone through. And he's high-leveled what he went through, okay? If you want to know more, you've got to get the Becoming the Better You compilation book. Go find him and then say, I want the book. <laughs> that makes it easier. It's a beautiful book with lots of powerful stories. But know that you're not alone. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and who will bring you to that next level. Never stop growing. Never stop learning. Pick up some books. Watch some videos. Go be the best version of you. So Coffee Cup Chuck, thank you so much for being with us today on Mental Shift. I thank will you see Chuck. you soon. I hope somewhere in the BTBY community travel around the United States and world at this point. Are you down in Houston? This uh, in two months, I mean, two weeks in yep, February. That's, that's where we'll be seeing each other next. We'll see you there. So everyone, thank you so much for watching Mental Shift and definitely go follow Coffee Cup Chuck. He is an amazing man and his wife is absolutely amazing too. Uh, they are a good compliment to each other. So thank you for watching Mental Shift on TNC. We'll see you next week. Go be the best version of you unapologetically.